Yep, it's time for the Pepsi Robertson Cup. Eric Granstrom with you here on the WenatcheeValley.org and WenatcheeValleySports.com. It is uh, day two of the tournament. The Wenatchee Wild unfortunately lost on day one, so they have to get back tonight. It's Tourism Day here, sponsored by the Sports Council, the Visitors Bureau, as well as 11 of our hotels here in the Wenatchee Valley. So we're hoping to get uh, a lot of folks in, and we certainly recognize the uh, importance of the Robertson Cup as far as tourism is concerned here in the Wenatchee Valley. Speaking of the cup, it's right here. Let's take a look at this beautiful cup. Well, I don't know if it's so beautiful, but uh, it certainly shows some... Uh, uh, character. Yeah, let's take a look. Now, right now, we've got a game going on between St. Louis and Traverse City. It was Traverse City that beat Wenatchee last night. So let's walk in here to the Town Toyota Center and take a look at what's happening here on day two of the Robertson Cup here in Wenatchee. As uh, right now, St. Louis helping the Wenatchee Wild out a little bit by leading Traverse City by a score of uh, three to one. And uh, they're heading into the third period of play and uh, some pretty good action so far. So let's take a look, shall we? So the Wenatchee Wild uh, going to take on Fairbanks tonight in game two here of Tourism Day. Sponsored by the Wenatchee Valley Visitors Bureau, the Sports Council, and 11 of our hotels. We'll tell you more about that coming up. We'll also have some fun here at the intermission break, the first intermission of game two with a tourist race. Lots of fun there, too. So thanks for joining us here at the Pepsi Robertson Cup on Tourism Day, day two of the tournament here in Wenatchee at Town Toyota Center on WenatcheeValley.org and WenatcheeValleySports.com.